Wanna go on a ride? In. Ain't you a lively little wiggler? I'm afraid I must be going. Wait, Grandpa's got a story for you. Once upon a time, in a far off kingdom, there was a family of adorable bunny rabbits. Now, these little rabbits lived in a hole at the bottom of a fir tree. That seemed like a the graveyard of the moles. Gimp got away. Come on back out, baby. Grandpa's got a lots more stories for you. Whoops. Mm, let you slip in, did I? Well, <laughs> I guess you can stay. It's a perfectly fine protection spell, but I think we can improve it. Now that's an inscription. What's all the commotion? Did I forget to cast the protection spell? in sight. Stone Guardian guys, otherwise occupied. Unbreakable spell of protection, broken. Nothing standing between us and that toy box but air. Come on, little buddy, let's go get it. I think this is where we came in. I'm experiencing a newfound sense of respect for our forebears, Samoth. I mean, Sam. I know how you feel, little buddy. Say what you will about our gene pool. It did manage to produce a couple of winners. You hear that? You guys are winners! If you factor out the squalid death in a dirty boiler room. Hey, Mac, could you tell me that they did it to me again? Who can penetrate the gate of the Sphinx? Breathe deeply, Sphinx. Accept the offering of our scent. Way to louse things up for us, Samoth.
Impressive. Now for the supreme test. Can you pass the inner gate? Samoth passed a quarter once. You've done it! You have beaten the challenge of the Sphinx! You are the gifted one I have been searching for! I'm the gifted one! I'm his manager. No matter, I've got tickets for both of you. Tomorrow morning, you set off for sunny Egypt aboard the Disorient Express. Gee, thanks. I may weep with gratitude. But that's not all. An even more fabulous prize awaits you, and another challenge should you choose to accept it. I charge you with the task of delving into the actual tomb of Samun Mak and recovering the legendary Devil's Toy Box. Is that all? Say no more. We're on the case. Time to roll out Plan B. Score one for the great-grandparents. Yeah, but I bet you Kringle and the elves beat them to the chest. You're nuts. Don't listen to him, fellas. Somebody. Nobody home. Shall we? Yes, let's shall. Oh no, you don't! Garlic crosses! My own protective talismans are keeping me away! Oh, the bitter irony of it all! Curses! Curses indeed! Stop! Get your filthy hands off that toy box! It's not for the likes of you! It's empty! What? The trunk is empty. I have failed you, Yog Sagoth, but you will be avenged! You know, even for a vampire, he's a weirdo. Look, Samoth, cookie crumbs! Hey, remember us? Of course! After all we've been through together in Real 2, I feel I can speak freely. Yes? I'm sorry to report that your daughter is harboring a massive crush. On whom? On us. Still? Well then I'm sorry guys, but I'm gonna have to hit you again with the old sexo rejexo hex. Keep riding the rails, Mr. Moleman. Okay. As a responsible adult... <laughs> as a responsible adult, I feel it's my duty to give you this. Hey! Huh? My dearest Jürgen, dewy young moleskin, long pale fingers, and Nefertiti! Dad! We're in love! You are not! I hope I am not interrupting anything. Debaucher, cradle robber, despoiler of innocence! Mm, perhaps this is a bad time. I curse you! No! Whatever. You 
<gasps> You've ruined my life again! You'll survive. Yeah? Survive this! The whole scene hex. I don't like this any better than you do, little buddy. Nature's miracle. Keep working at it. Thanks, milk. Who is it now? Room service. For the love of Blitzen, it's about damn time. Yeah, hold on a minute. Cookies and milk. And they threw in a free can of nuts to make up for the inconvenience. You're bad for me, you naughty little snacks. <laughs> but you go down so good. What the hollyberries? Huh. He's out cold. It's empty. What? You mean I gave up my precious milk for nothing? Wait a minute. There's a note. The Brotherhood of Yang Sagan. Who could have written this? Who indeed? Oh, my God. Oh, no. My word. I've been double-crossed! Out, damn you, out! That's the lot of them, little buddy. We've cleared every name on the list. Except... one. Huh? I must admit you had me fooled, Sameth. Always so concerned about the missing toy box, and the way you were always slipping off for a smoke break. I never slipped off for Grand a... Central Station. Now arriving at Grand Central Station, New York, New York. What's that? Baby, Baby Amelia, Amelia Earhart? Earhart? Yes, baby Amelia Earhart. Little baby Amelia Earhart, not worth bothering with, not good enough to play with the big boys. Oh no, she's just a woman. Well, it appears this insignificant female has beat quite a few of the big boys at their own game, and now she's going home with all the toys, while the others are left scratching their heads, wondering what hit them. Grand Central Station! Any last words before we part? Watch your step. Kind of anticlimactic for a boss fight. I thought it was exciting. Let's take this toy box and skedaddle, little pal. We've got an appointment with Monsieur Paperweight. That's it? No, no final embrace? No slow fade? No interminable credit sequence with cheesy pop cover of the title tune? No, it ain't over yet, little buddy. We've still got the most important reel to go, remember? I think the story's about to come to a head. And, uh, speaking of coming to a hat, I need to duck out for a minute. Don't you start the last reel without me. So tell me, Samoth and Maximus. To begin with, how was it you were able to pass through the mouth of the Sphinx? After we got the can of nuts back from the elves, my little buddy and I squished into it and rode the Spunks' tongue through the gate. 
an astounding story, all the more convincing for being implausible. Now do we get our- However, once inside the tomb of Samun Mak, you are faced with many more dangers. Magic spells, deadly traps, bloodthirsty mole men. However did you manage to beat the odds and secure the devil's toy box? Cleverly noting that Grandpa Mole took his cues from a hieroglyphic inscription, we turned ourselves into bas-relief tune carvings, shuffled over to the marquee where the inscription was located, and added additional glyphs which had the effect of reversing the spell. And also we got eaten and spit up by an asp! What a strange and compelling, if convoluted, story! Audience, give them a hand for what they've been through! The adventure does not end there. I'm told that you two were victims of a brazen daytime heist on the train ride back from Egypt. Can you tell the audience how you managed to thwart the thief and recover the treasure? The robbery was committed by none other than that irrepressible scamp, baby Amelia Earhart. She almost got away with it, but we were a little too tough for her. A resourceful duo, don't you agree? That's nice. Now how about that reward? Fear not, my talented little logomorph. You will receive your reward, right? No! My dear Maximus, you have been chosen to play the starring role in the greatest spectacle of the age! The summoning of Yog Sagoth. The hell I have! Where's Samet? Yog Sagoth, most terrible of the ancient ones, banished from this earthy plane for six long millennia. But you, with your extraordinary psychic gift, you will intone the words to bring him from the realm of darkness into the light. The hell I will! Yes, the hell you will. If you refuse to play your role, a certain friend of yours will meet an unfortunate demise. Sam Ahem! <clears throat> an unfortunate demise in a vat of flesh-eating ants! Yikes! But are you sure this role is me? You are the one with the gift. Which reminds me. Can't have you pulling any funny business. All right, then. Let's get it over with. Cue up the entrance music. Yogg-Sagoth, primal prince of chaotic night, descend to us through the writhing wastes of outer darkness. We summon thee with the deathless words from the Book of Abominations. Now you say, Omke Onine, the other race I'm fey. I see him! Uh, there he is! In the chest! Yog Sagoth? Tentacles, glowing red eyes. Yep, gotta be him! Shorter than I expected him to be. Let me see! Where? Where? Look close. We've already finished the other reels. any more of your tricks. Say the words, or face the consequences. No point in that. I don't give cookies to just anyone. No. 
don't like people reading when I'm trying to talk to them. I don't think so. Looks like the counterweight for the moon. Looks like the counterweight for the moon. Looks like the counterweight for one of the stars. Nice atmospheric touch. Yikes! <laughs> 